Let's take a look at a basic method on en route wind approximation. Let's say that you're flying along towards your practice area to do some maneuver work, and you're unable to see where the wind is coming from. So there's no smokestacks, and the usual signs are not around, so you're trying to figure out where the heck is the wind coming from so I can do my maneuvers into it. Well, here's a simple method of approximating wind direction using just a couple of simple steps. So again, let's say you're now on a heading of 030, and there's a VOR station not far from where you are. In this case, let's say it's about 10 miles north of you. First of all, take a look at your compass, and make sure the heading indicator is showing the same heading. If not, realign it so they do match. Second, center the needle of your VOR, and it doesn't really matter whether you center it with a to or a from indication. If you've seen our other videos, you know how we explain VORs, and in this case here, you really do not need to know whether it's a to or a from. It doesn't matter. Just center it. Third, turn to the same heading that centered the needle. In this case here, as you can see, north. Fourth, fly that heading for about two minutes or so or until you see the needle swinging in one direction. Fifth, you're done. Look at the cardinal direction on the same side the needle has swung to, in this case east. That is approximately where the wind is coming from. The actual wind is between northeast and southeast. If the needle moves very slowly, then the angle between you and the wind is also small. For example, a wind from 030 and vice versa. The faster it moves, the greater the angle. For example, a wind from the east. If the needle doesn't move at all, you either have a headwind, or a wind from the north, or a tailwind, a wind from the south. And by the way, if you're already on your instrument training, and would like to see how this method can greatly help you, and impress your instructor or examiner, check back with our channel as very soon we will be uploading a video on how to anticipate wind correction for a hold pattern, which will put you way ahead of the airplane, and as we all know, that is a very good thing. And for more information on this topic and many others, check out PassFAEexams.com.